when the horizon line has to be straight, and isn't that always the case? Uh, in painting this, I had allowed this side of the painting, the left side, the horizon had dropped down, and that needed correcting, as well as um, the horizon line, I had let it get fuzzy. And a lot of times you want to do that. You want to mute it down. Um, but in this case, with everything being so soft, I wanted that horizon line to be a little bit more definite. So I've clamped this. Uh, first of all, I measured the, um, the measured down to see where this ruler would line up uh, straight. Then I've clamped it on there. I went into it with um, this beautiful Richardson, uh, sort of a purplish blue, and went on top of it with a, a darker color. M maybe this one, I don't remember which one exactly. And then I've tried different ways to kind of smudge it up against this ruler. I've used my finger and gone across it like that. Used the little um, rubber tip blending brushes. And I still am afraid that when I take it down, it's going to be too harsh a line. So I want this color to bleed down a little bit more flatten out that C as it goes to the back. Um, so I'm, I'm trying this uh, light, light blue. And just going across it like that. This where the sun is hitting, it does need to be lighter. and very soft. main thing I wanted was the hard edge so I could hit against it. I'm just going to take this on across. And might come back down over it with something a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm going to use my finger right now and just go across it first of all. And then come down a little bit. See if that little bit of a smudge looks like it's going to work. Incidentally, I had this painting leaning on my drafting table where I thought it was safe, but somehow I can see little cat paws on it. So I know my cat somehow jumped onto this painting and did a little walk through right here. A little bit of correction I have to do. I want to try. Nope, wrong color. This is a, a light, very light pink that I found and works really well up in this sky area. I, I wonder if I put a little bit of it here. Blend it in. Close to where the sky is, uh, the sun is going to be reflecting. A little bit right there. No definite lines across there. A little bit right here. 
this clown. And I, I want to get a lighter and, and come down from that ruler just a little bit. That's too blue, I believe. It's funny, you just don't have these colors that you need. Okay, that's not too bad. It's getting a lot of light there, a lot of glowing light. That looks pretty good. What's actually happening is that the light, air, I've got a bigger dark the dark extends further down on this side and comes more at an angle right in here. More down. Okay. That's too light now. No. Pretty good. hate to have to blend this much, but this is such a soft painting. It needs the blending. That's a good one. Good color. This is a unison pinkish color called light tan. Um, if I can just get a little bit of it in here, take out some of that purple, as well as the cat print. I don't have a lot of layers of pastel on here, so the sanded paper is grabbing the color and it doesn't allow me to blend a whole lot because of the sanded surface. I don't like that. Some little, um, I think I can afford to leave some of these lines in. It's where the water is, is uh, causing little fractured points on the water and the light. But this is far enough along, away from that horizon line. I'm going to do a reveal and see if I like it. Hold it in the center. I absolutely do like it. It really needed that separation of sky and water. step back and even though that line on the water is darker than the sky it still recedes enough that it looks very good I like that okay I think I'm finished with this painting I'm going to stop for now and put it aside for a few days. It's a lot of uh, imagination, memories from times when I was at the at the water, at the beach, um, when the tide had receded and it was just slightly coming in. Um, 
a little bit from the reference photo, a lot of memories. This is the reference photo, and I changed it quite a bit, not only in its composition, but in the colors. It's no longer dark and moody, but uh, has a lot of light, a lot of uh, uh, color to it. This is a part of the painting that I really love. I like the shape of it, the way the little fingers of sand go out into the water, and yet there's water trickling into it. The color of it, <laughs> but, but it doesn't work with the overall harmony, color harmony in this painting. There's so much blue, purple, a little bit of turquoise, but in other words, um, as an analogous painting, it, it has the tendencies toward blue. And that strip of sand uh, just draws the eye because there's so much contrast of the color. 